We're going to spend some time talking about an incredible organization that you'll find right here in the Keys. Now, the studios of Key West, they've been called the cultural hub of Key West. They offer both visitors and locals the chance to connect with one another and with the cultural life of the island. They offer exhibitions, studio space, concerts, residencies, and more. Basically, they are just dedicated to supporting the creative community down here in the Keys. Jed, thank you for being with me this morning. Thank you. It's great to be here. Well, it's wonderful having you, and it's wonderful having you here to Key West because you just recently got here. Yeah, I've only been here for two weeks. Well, I've been on the island for a month, and I've been at the studios for two weeks now, so I'm still getting the lay of the land, but mm -hmm. loving it so far. Okay, loving it. You're very new. Yeah. What brought you, though, down here, Jed? Why Key West? Well, I had been looking to make a move in my life, and uh, when I saw the opening at the studios, I recognized an organization that was very similar to the one that I had helped to start and get off the ground in Baltimore. Um, similar mix of programs and uh, in terms of exhibitions and performances and studio space and workshops, but um, also in a similar way, there was a group of people involved with the organization who really understood that um, the arts are, have a particular um, ability to bring people together and start interesting conversations and you know promote the economic and, and just social well-being of a, of a place that we all would love to live in. Mm -hmm. so. so what did you think of the artists that you met when you first came here to the Keys? I mean Key West is incredible. It's uh, for an island that's pretty small geographically and not that many people it's overperforming <laughs> by a long shot. I mean it's really got the cultural life of a, of a, of a you know, of a city on a small, in a small town. And so that's um, a really exciting opportunity. Mm -hmm. And a real range of people, too, who are doing um, everything from just real elegant sort of abstract work to kind of folk art and uh, obviously so much history here. So it's, it's, you know, a fun adventure and a challenge for me to kind of get to know all that. Okay. Now give us a little outlook for the studios of Key West. Since you just got here, what can we expect from them? Well, I mean, you know, the organization is still young. We're only six years old this year, and so, um, you know, I think that uh, we've only begun to see what, what the organization can do. I'm really committed to uh, not just um, continuing and hopefully raising the, the caliber of the artists that we're bringing to Key West and the level of support that we're providing to the artists that are here, but also, you know, being a, a, a leader in the community or at least uh, supporting um, you know, the development of, uh, of what's going on in, in the island generally. You know, I think that we've got a great space for people to come together and have meetings and discussions and so on, and so we'd like to be in the middle of things. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the residency program. Mm -hmm. That's still fairly new. Yeah, yeah. Well, in the last couple of years, we acquired some great uh, cottages on Ash Street, which has enabled us to um, bring in artists from all over the, the world, really, and um, within, the art, within the art world, um, residency programs like we're offering here are a very popular thing and so um, it's quite competitive to get in and it means that the caliber of artists that we're attracting is very high and uh, and so all of them are coming here I think that what we've decided is to really focus on artists who are um, committed to giving back to Key West while they're here mm -hmm. to doing work that really couldn't be done any any place else and then when they're finished here they um, hopefully will come back at some point but we know for one thing that they are going back into the art world and talking about what a great experience they had while they were here. Mm -hmm. so. And what are some of the things that they do when they're here in the Keys? Uh, we've got an amazing classical pianist named Jiayan Shen who's coming. Um, she's actually got roots in Baltimore where I was. She's a, a, at the Peabody Institute. She'll be doing a series of kind of salon piano concerts. There's a guy named Matthew Terrell who's an NPR commentator and he does mm -hmm. podcasts and he's going to be doing a series of podcasts about Key West and um, there's another artist that's going to be teaching a stained glass workshop that we're really excited about. So mm -hmm. it's a range of people, artists, writers, sculptors, fiber artists, mm -hmm. a little bit of everything. You do have a little bit of everything. Yeah, and the courses the are available to the public. Yeah, I mean, it's impressive. The, the range and the number of workshops that the studios has been putting on for the last couple of years is, uh, is really holds its head up with anything I've seen anywhere. And um, Rick Worth is kind of an institution. He has mm -hmm. this workshop called the Painting Boot Camp. Mm -hmm. um, which will take anybody who swears that they are not an artist and will change their mind by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So He's wonderful. Yeah, Marcus. he's incredible. All right, and what do you have? You have something going on tonight. Uh, yeah, we are. I've been seeing Take Shape right outside my office, a couple of exhibitions in our main hall opening 
at uh, Walk on White starting at 6 o'clock on Thursday. Um, tonight we've got um, an exhibition of our studio artists, so you get to see the range of work there. We've also asked them to each invite a colleague in, so it's, it's a group exhibition with a range of stuff, so something for everybody's taste. And then in the upstairs gallery, a really special exhibition of uh, window displays by Anne Lorraine, who's been doing the windows for Fast Buck Freddy's for 23 years. Mm -hmm. And she has an incredible warehouse full of sculptures and paintings and just really wacky out there mm -hmm. um, displays. And so she's kind of condensed them down and, um, and has been transforming the upstairs of the, of the armory into a really fabulous thing that uh, you know talks to the history of Key West and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, you, know, you couldn't help but love it. Right, I, that sounds wonderful to yeah. see. Something that our viewers shouldn't miss. Yeah, it's sad mm -hmm. to see Fast Bucks go, but, mm -hmm. um, but uh, you know, these works are for sale as well, mm -hmm. so if you want to take, piece of, take a piece of that history home, you can. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you for sharing all this information about the studios. Yeah. And I'm going to take a quick break right now, everybody, but please stay with me. I'll be right back after this.